happens next. Christ goes to the cross for us. You know, within many parts of Christendom, they talk about the stations of the cross. It's these, these processes and kind of stops along the way. There's different ideas of what that might look like. You see it in this next image. Different ones that would be there. I, you know, one of the ones I really like is a piece of art that we see is next. And it talks about Jesus in the garden. And then Jesus is betrayed. Jesus is condemned by the religious court, and then he is denied by Peter. He's judged by the Romans, and then he's scourged. He's whipped with the cat of nine tails, and then he's forced to take up his cross. Since Jesus is helped by Simon, they, they force him to carry the cross for Jesus. And then Jesus meets the women, and they see them along the way, and then he is crucified says that Jesus is there beside the repentant thief and the other thief who wanted nothing to do with Jesus. But Jesus embraces the one even beside whom who was guilty and because he is repentant, invites him into paradise with himself. And it talks about those things where Jesus talks to John and to his mother and he says and charges him with caring for his mother just as Jesus had done. And then Jesus gives up his spirit upon the cross and is laid in a tomb. You know, we see those different icons, those different pieces that are there. We see the price that Jesus paid for us upon those, those whippings that he didn't deserve, that it says in scripture that by his stripes, by those things that he endured for us, we are healed. That we as Christ followers, because the blood of the lamb, the blood of Jesus, who is a sacrificial lamb for all people for all time, it, he, he pays the price. And because that's the fact, because that's truth, then all of us can put our faith and trust in God and say, Lord, by your stripes, because you paid the price, I am healed. I'm healed physically. I'm healed emotionally. We're healed relationally in the name of Jesus Christ upon your life, upon my life, that we would be those who are healed by the name of Jesus.